Hello all, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Today I'll provide an overview of financial or time series data analysis methods. This is a broad topic, but I will try my level best to explain this topic in this short lecture. Time series data is a sequence of observations or the defined variable at a uniform interval over a period of time in successive order. Most common series are in annual, quarterly, monthly, weekly, and daily frequencies. Time series analysis can be used to relate the current value of each of several economic variables to its past values, the past values of the other forecasted variables, and the values of current and past random errors. Now the question is how to analyze the time series data. The first step is to test whether your time series is stationary or not. To test this, you have to conduct unit root tests. A stationary time series is one whose mean, variance, and autocorrelation function do not change over time. Three types of unit root tests are available. Augmented Dickey-Fuller test, phillips Perron test, Kuretkoskai, Phillips, Schmidt, and Shin KPSS test. The augmented Dickey-Fuller test is the most common method for testing unit root. phillips perron test is an alternative model to test the presence of unit root in a time series. The basic difference between the ADF and PP tests is that PP is a non-parametric test whereas ADF is a parametric test. The classical testing framework is found sometimes to be biased towards accepting the null hypothesis. Therefore, Kwiatkowski, Phillips, Schmidt, and Shin KPSS introduced a better test as compared to augmented Dickey Fuller or Phillips Perron test. This test is called KPSS test. In KPSS test, null hypothesis is stationary and alternative hypothesis is non-stationary. Non-stationary time series is said to have a unit root. I recommend to use one parametric and one non-parametric test to make a comparison of results for your time series data. After conducting unit root tests, you will encounter three cases. Number one, all variables are stationary. Number two, all variables are non-stationary. And number three, some variables are stationary and some are non-stationary. A mix of variables. If all variables are stationary, you will use OLS or vector autoregressive VAR models to get unbiased estimates. OLS method determines the relationship between the given variables. Vector autoregressive VAR model allows the feedback or reverse causality among the dependent and independent regressors using their own past values. Number two, when all variables are non-stationary, Johansson test is used to determine co-integration among study variables. This test method is based on the relationship between the rank of matrix and its characteristics roots. Number third is some variables are stationary and some are non-stationary, a mix of variables. If we have a set of mixed variables, that is some are stationary and some are non-stationary, we will apply autoregressive distributed lag ARDL method, which is an OLS based method. The ARDL is a versatile method because it is applicable on both non stationary time series as well as for time series with mixed order of integration. The non stationary variables can be made stationary by taking first difference. Similarly, the non stationary data with a persistence long run trend can be made stationary with either number one putting time variable in the regression or number two extracting trends and cycles from the single series by using popular filtering techniques such as Hortrick Prescott HP filter. Nevertheless, it should be noted that the long run relationship or information of the variables may be lost when we modify them to make stationary such as by differencing, detrending or filtering. If all variables are stationary, you can easily estimate 
independent variables and dependent variable relationship by using OLS var models. Keep in mind that choosing appropriate lag length is important in var modeling. Optimal number of lags can be selected by using available lag length selection criteria. Most popular criteria are Akaike Information Criteria AIC, Shaw's Bayesian Criteria SBC, and Hannon Coin Criteria HQC. If your Johansson or ARDL model results show that variables are co integrated, then proceed to the further analysis. So, we have to know what is co integration. If your XT and YT variables are non stationary, but ET mean error term is stationary, then XT and YT are said to be co integrated. If XT and YT are both non stationary and are co integrated, then use an error correction model instead of where. For mixed variables, a dynamic error correction model can be derived from ARDL through a simple linear transformation. Likewise, the ECM integrates the short run dynamics with the long run equilibrium without losing long run information and avoids problems such as spurious relationship resulting from non stationary time series data. ARDL provides estimates for both short run and long run relationships. Next, you need to test causality. If two variables y and x are co integrated, then there may exist any of the three relationships. Number one, x affects y. Number two, y affects x. And number three, x and y affect each other. The first two show unidirectional relationship, while the third shows bidirectional relationship. So, in this lecture, I have provided an overview of the methods used in time series or financial data analysis. I hope you will find this lecture significant in the way that you would be able to understand all the basic techniques used in financial or time series data analysis in one lecture. Thank you very much for attending this lecture. As a group of professionals, you will almost always be separated from other professionals who are not practicing in your field. In the digital age, there is so much potential and opportunity in the power of keeping together. Enjoy the most powerful profile, publish articles, ask questions, and chat with like-minded professionals in a community you can identify with. With us, you will have a chance to mingle with the best discussion boards in your profession for further growth. Join today.